ito pong uh, ibanghelyo na ating binasa ay karugtong po ng ibanghelyo kahapon at yung ibanghelyo na ating babasahin bukas. Ito po ang tinatawag na Christ High Priestly Prayer. Big sabihin po, bago umalis ang ating Painuso Kristo at babalik sa Kanyang Ama, pinagdarasal niya ang Kanyang mga lagad na sana'y gabayan sila ng Espiritu Santo na sana'y hindi sila mapahamak. Kaya sabi niya, Amang banal, ingatan mo sila sa so magitan ng kapangyarihan ng iyong pangalan. Iningatan ko sila sa so magitan ng kapangyarihan ng iyong pangalang ibinigay mo sa akin. Na sana'y sila'y hindi mapahamak. Inalagaan ko sila. Naibigay ko na sa kanila ang iyong salita. Iligtas mo sila sama-sama. Italaga mo sila sa magitan ng katotohanan. Ang salita mo'y katotohanan. Itinilaga ko ang aking sarili para sa kanila upang may talaga rin sila sa magitan ng katotohanan. Mga kapatid, ano ba itong katotohanan tinutukoy ng ating Panginoon Kristo sa ating Ibanghelyo? It is not the truth that we learn in the classroom. Jesus is not talking about additional knowledge that we learn as students. Ang katotohanan ang tinutukoy ng ating Panginoon Kristo ay upang tayo'y magiging malaya sa tanikala ng kasalanan that we might be free from the bondage of sin. Everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. If the Son sets us free, we will be free indeed. Pero, paano po tayo magiging malaya? Sa sulat po ni San Juan, o sa Ibanghelyo ni San Juan, chapter 8, 32, He says, or Jesus says, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Kung patuloy kayong susunod sa aking aral, tunay ngang kayo'y mga lagad ko. Makikilala ninyo ang katotohanan, at ang katotohanan ang magpapalaya sa inyo. Now, in the gospel that we have uh, just heard, Jesus said, Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. Ang salita ng Diyos Ama ay katotohanan. At ang salita ng Diyos Ama ay pinagkaloob sa ating Panginoon Su Kristo. Ipinagkaloob sa Kanyang anak. At sinasabi rin ng ating Panginoon Su Kristo sa ating Ibanghelyo, Ipinagkaloob ko na ang iyong salita sa kanila. So ibig sabihin po, yung katotohanan ng tinutukoy ng ating Panginoon Kristo ay hindi po natin pwedeng ihiwalay sa pagpapakabanal. Truth and holiness are closely intertwined together. And the fruit of truth is trust. Pwede natin alintulad sa isang doktor. Dapat upang ikaw ay gagaling, sundin mo ang payo ng isang doktor. Dapat meron kang paniniwala sa kanyang kakayahang pagalingin ka. Dapat sumunod ka sa kanyang mga sinasabi upang ikaw ay gagaling. Ganon din po sa ating ugnayan sa Panginoong Diyos. Siya ang nagbigay ng katotohanan at ito'y mga itinuturo ng Panginoon Kristo na ipinagpapatuloy ng ating simbahan sapagkat ang kasalanan ay ginagawa tayong bulag kaya nga Jesus Christ once said they have 
ears, but they could not hear. They have eyes, but they could not see. Yes, sin prevents us from realizing the evil influence of the evil one in our lives. That's why in the prayer of Jesus, he says, Father, keep them away from the evil one. Na sana maliwanagan ang kanilang pag-iisip, maliwanagan ang kanilang puso, at makawala sa tinikala ng kasalanan. Alam niyo po, yung mga hudyo, ang kanilang uh, seguridad, they have this uh, sense of security that they will be secure, that they will be set right with God if they follow the law, the law of Moses, the Ten Commandments. And because they were, the scribes and the Pharisees were legal experts and scholars of the law, they expanded these ten laws into 613 laws. So many of them, they have become slave to the law. Dapat lahat ng kanilang ginagawa ay nakasaad sa batas. At, and the consequence of not obeying this so many laws would be death and punishment. Kaya nga, isang araw, itong mga scribe at parise, they brought a woman before Jesus who was caught in the act of adultery. And they said, according to the law of Moses, if somebody is uh, caught in the act of committing adultery, it's very clear and clearly stipulated that she should be stoned to death. Yes, she should be stoned to death. What are you going to do? They asked Jesus. They wanted to put him in a trap. And so Jesus said, Anyone who has not committed a single sin should be the first one to throw, pick up a stone and throw at this adulterous woman. Because all of them were sinners, they left and went away one by one until Jesus and the weeping woman caught in the act of adultery were the only ones left behind. And so Jesus asked her, Where are your accusers? They have left one by one. And Jesus said, Neither will I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. And so what is the answer of Jesus to this overemphasis of the scribes and the Pharisees on obeying so many laws? They become slave to the law. And the consequence of not obeying the law is punishment, death, just like they wanted to apply to this adulterous woman. And so, in Matthew 22, 37 to 40, Jesus said, Love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, with all your soul. And secondly, love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus applied this in a very concrete situation. When she was, he was asked, what are we going to do with this adulterous woman? The law tells us that we have to stone her to death. But Jesus said, how can I do it if the very foundation of the word of God is compassion? It is love. That is the truth. Yan po ang katotohanan ipinapahiwatig ng ating Paniso Kristo. Carrying out the stoning of a woman in sin does not show graceful and merciful love of the Father. Ang katotohanan ng tinutukoy ng ating Paniso Kristo should be demonstrated in God's loving kindness and forgiveness through Jesus. Jesus is telling us that the best protection from fear is love, not the law. Because the law is based 
on fear, punishment, and death. And so that's why Jesus Christ, before he went up to heaven, he said to his apostles, I no longer call you, call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I am now calling you friends. You are now my friends because I have revealed to you everything that the Father has entrusted to me. In other words, Jesus Christ was telling the apostles, from now on, your relationship should no longer be based on the law, on submission, on fear, like a slave, fear of his master, fear of punishment. But from now on, our relationship, your relationship should be based on friendship, on equal footing. And that, is can, on, that can only be achieved through love and compassion. That's why he said, I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. And so we connect that to, the, to what Jesus said, the truth will set you free. It is love. It is compassion. It is mercy that will set us free. It is love that set us free from the poison of hatred, envy, jealousy, revenge, unforgiving and uncaring attitude. It is love that frees us from the bandage of selfishness and so as we celebrate this holy mass we must be convinced first that God truly cares and forgives each one of us that the grace of God overcomes our mistakes that God gives us a second chance just like he gave a second chance of the adulterous woman and so we should allow this truth to flourish we must become extensions of God's love and mercy the inner goodness that comes from being converted in believing that it is love compassion and forgiveness that will set us free our identity is anchored on God as father that's why Jesus Christ said, Father, keep them in your name. A father who truly cares for his children. That's why on one occasion, Jesus Christ said, You, in all your sinfulness, what father among you, in all your sinfulness, know how to give good things to your loved one? Would you give your son a stone if he asks for a bread? Would you hand him a snake if he asks for a fish? Know in all your sinfulness, you know how to give good things to your loved ones. How much more our Heavenly Father. And so, fear is born out of punishment. But perfect love has cast it all out. God's love will heal us and set us free. Receiving God's grace, receiving God's love, demands that we should also extend this love beyond ourselves and that is precisely what Jesus asks from each and every one of us and then the truth will set us free